The Justin Trudeau liberals claim absolutely no data on the cost of the firearms buyback program and exclusive Rebel News access to information filing with Public Safety Canada on the nearly $1 billion gun grab compensation program returned just seven pages of heavily redacted documents, none of which provided any financial estimates. There are uh, a few different ways uh, that criminals get their hands on guns uh, in this country. One is uh, guns crossing the border. And that's why we've stepped up significantly on interdicting guns at the border. The second way is uh, people buy guns legally on the market and then sell them to criminals. And we brought in a freeze on handguns. It's no longer any per any possible to purchase handguns in this country. That was a, that's the second way people get handguns in this, uh, guns in this country. The third way uh, to get guns in this country is uh, by stealing guns from either gun shops or legal gun owners. Reclassifying and banning nearly all center fire semi-automatic rifles and shotguns capable of accepting a five round magazine has been described as the single largest firearms ban in Canadian history. The Liberals increased gun control, all licensed gun owners, and while they were at it, made life the easiest it's ever been on criminals. The Liberals have rolled out three gun bans in three years, while gang-related homicide has shot up 92%, basically doubled, along with a 32% rise in violent crime, all since the Liberals took office. Those same non-gun-owning -gun -gun Canadians need to ask what in the world is going on. The latest hunting and sports shooting gun ban comes on the heels of a wide-scale reclassification of 1,500 popular models of firearms in 2020 and then a grandfathering out of handgun ownership in early 2022. We're introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer or import handguns anywhere in Canada. In other words, we're capping the market for handguns. Now, the ban on semi-autos included what was described as a buyback program of firearms the government never owned in the first place with the compensation for confiscating the legally obtained property from its law-abiding owners to be determined by some bureaucrat working in a cubicle for the state. Now, taxpayer watchdog the Canadian Taxpayers Federation reports the Liberal gun ban and buyback program was initially promised to cost $200 million. However, the Parliamentary Budget Officer estimates reimbursing gun owners will cost up to $756 million. The $756 million estimate does not include administrative or staffing costs, which are already starting to add up. Administrative costs are approaching $4 million, and thankfully not a single gun has been snatched from its rightful owner yet. Now, Rebel News asked Public Safety Canada to provide copies of any analysis done on the buyback costs involved with the government's proposed firearms control plans since January 1st, 2020. This was a catch-all. We went looking for financial analysis from all three successive gun grabs. Now, instead of financial analysis supporting the Liberal government's estimate of $200 million to seize the property of thousands of Canadians, Rebel News received seven heavily redacted pages of mindless internal bureaucratic chatter. Now, Rebel News continues to investigate the Liberals' claims about the purported necessity and cost of their attacks on the lawful Canadian firearms-owning community. Um, two years ago, our government introduced a national ban on AR-15 and assault-style rifles. And over the course of the coming weeks and months, we're going to put into place the steps that are necessary to begin the process of launching a mandatory buyback program which will get those assault style rifles out of our communities once and for all because they have no place in those communities. To sign our petition calling on the Liberals to refocus strained policing resources on real criminals and not duck hunters and sports shooters like me, please visit handsoffourguns.ca. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. 
This story was only made possible through your generous crowdfunded donations to our special Paper Trail Access to Information Investigations website at rebelinvestigates.com. So thank you to everybody who makes this important work possible.